Well, this looks interesting. I'm going in blind on this one pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, so welcome to the stream. It, it is a late stream. Hang on, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm adjusting volume. This is a late stream. I had an extremely eventful and busy day. But I'm here at last to discuss the big news and to play mostly Kid Icarus Uprising, but a little bit of this game, which is a recommendation. Uh, it's a demo, and it looks really good. Um, the big news today, of course, that everyone wants me to talk about is... Well, it's very sad. It's, um, Solid Snake's voice actor has said dummy thick. Thus killing the meme. David Hayter has said dummy thick. Anyway, I found the door, so I guess game over? Someone said vegetable has stepped down. I haven't heard that one yet. Vegetable. What the fuck is this game? I mean, it's probably too easy to say it's vaporwave. And then you look at the sun and you're like, alright, oh, it's vaporwave. The dev pulled this off Steam since he wanted to majorly rework it. Well, for the time being, it exists. And I, I want to know what the hell this is. <clears throat> Once again, anyone just joining, sorry for the late stream. I will definitely talk about Reggie. I was as sad as anyone else. But I'm going to talk about Reggie during the Kid Icarus stream, because that's more appropriate. And by then, more people will have joined. What happened? Well, in a nutshell, Reggie stepped down. He's retiring. And, um... His replacement is a lad by the name of Doug Bowser. Um, Fifteen years he was Nintendo's president. And he leaves in, in good body and good health, and uh, we'll talk about it later. Someone said, um... Are you sad about people getting demonetized on YouTube now because of their comment sections? That's the real story. Well, that's- that's the story that's gonna turn into a shit show. And, um... It started with some really heavy shit that I don't necessarily want to go into on the stream. I don't. But, uh, it's true. And in order to try to fix their platform and the advertisers jumping ship, they are now demonetizing and banning people for comments in the YouTube comment section. Which, um... I've had a YouTube channel for a while. I've seen it all. You know, and YouTube comments aren't exactly a place of... of beauty and wonder and rational discussion. Sometimes... But not always. Um... I don't think people should get demonetized for saying the fuck word in a YouTube comment, but I don't know the full story. So I- oh, Jesus, so I can't really- this- I don't know what's going on here. So I can't really comment on something I don't know the full story about, like... I'll give you an example. I don't know what they're banning for. I know why this started, but I don't know if they're banning fuck, I don't know if they're banning shit, I don't know if they're banning, like, threats, which, you know, that's... We here at YouTube allow threats on our platform. You know. 
but I, I you know obviously there's going to be good there's going to be people caught in the crossfire and their bots can only do so much so I think it's going to turn into a huge mess oh wait it's already a mess I don't get a double jump um, this game by the way is obviously not I'm not figuring it out um, you get a double jump but only if you don't dash first right no double jump there That's weird, because then it jumped, but it didn't- it didn't give me the double jump. Um... One, two. But if you're... moving forward... Not a minute. It's- just, people are saying it's Cuphead all over again. Aim up, maybe? I gave up. I gave up head. Oh, wait a minute. That is... Gotta be phrasing. Very careful with phrasing. Very careful with phrasing. That was supposed to be a cuphead joke. What the fuck did that turn into? Yeah, this is- what- what the fuck am I playing? Vinny, you are now banned from YouTube? Oh. See, so, you know, that's a jump I can make. The- the mobility in this game is very confusing. I, again, I know it's a demo. Thank you, Vaporwave, I've been waiting for. Vinny, is this Apex Legends? Well, it's got wall running, so it might be Titanfall 2. It's not Vaporwave. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it, it's just, it's become a catch-all phrase for things that are neon. Um... Vinny, no it hasn't. Alright, well, in my head... So this was pulled off Steam? Good. It needs more time. Well, it was just a demo, so if the, the developer's going back to rework some of the movement systems... I'm bad, but I'm not... like... incapable of jumping. Here we go. I guess I just jumped in the wrong place. Dear God. Some of this movement... is, um... Back. Oh, the game crashed. I just wanted to show a cool game. I figured I didn't want to stream Kid Icarus for three fucking hours because my my hand would hurt because of claw. And I was late tonight anyway, so I didn't want to do anything too crazy. Just... I figured, let me just check out something small. And, um... It crashed. Alright, um, well the real news is that David Hayter said dummy thick. But there's also this. This is even better news. Let's go. It's me, Mario. Okie dokie. Mamma mia. Here we go, Mario. It's so crusty. I love it. 
And yes, this is really David Hayter's voice. Uh, <laughs> Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. That's it. That's all it is. He did it. He said it. Now everyone can squeeze their hog in peace. And, you know, maybe maybe that that's the end of the meme. Maybe that's the end of the meme. I don't know. Ooh, game crashed again, right in the menu. Okay. This needs a lot more time in the oven. I get it, it's a demo. It's just to show off what the game could be. But, uh, the menus don't work. The, uh, resolution switching crashes, uh, the game. Right? See? What do you think about Reggie retiring? Who's Reggie? Vinny, so it's Anthem? Oh boy, have I heard some terrible things about Anthem. I want to try to get this right because I was able to get the resolution switch previously. I got it. No, 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 no. Game crashed again. Someone said, I hope, uh, Bioware stays alive. I don't know how much Bioware is similar to the Bioware that we... had. Sorry, I can't, um... It's not even worth adjusting the resolution, right? It's not even worth it. Uh, I'm gonna, you know... Um, like a parkour shooter, like a ninja game. Like a nin- like a parkour shooter. Try this again. It's gonna be in a weird resolution, obviously. Kinda- Kinda cool, and it's- you know, the style's cool. It could be developed further. Kinda reminds me of Super Hot. It's got a little bit of a challenge. It bites back. You know, I was gonna stream tonight a game called Pandemic Express, who sent me and Jeff and a bunch of other um, streamers keys. It's like um it's zombies, but it's not. It's it's more stylized than zombies. It's like a zombies, but weird survival stuff. It looked kind of interesting, but they have specific play tests for it, and no one is on right now. Like no one was playing the game, so we couldn't couldn't do it. Um, there will be. Chimera Hunt, eventually. We're trying to figure out when. Vinny, do you seriously not know the difference between Vaporwave and Outrun? Vinny, it's not Vaporwave, it's Outrun. You guys don't understand your Synthwave subgenres. Okay. It's Scumcond. 
That's what it is, scum conned. It's it's a new it's a new genre. It's a subgenre that was made of those two genres put together. Um, I'm surprised you don't know your genres, man. I mean, I thought you would have done the research. No, but I don't. I I am mistakenly calling things vaporwave because I feel like that term has been too pervasive for me, and to my to my fault. I have not- I have not made any attempt to differentiate between the genre- The fucking game is still too loud! Vaporwave describes the aesthetic. Right, so... The game looks Vaporwave aesthetic based on... Let's say, what I've done on my Sunday streams. I just call games that look like this Vaporwave because it's easy. It's like a- that's- that's the easiest way to describe it. Is it correct? Probably not. So you have my deepest sympathies for getting the genre wrong. I didn't realize there was a genre called Outrun. Um, I feel- I feel educated now, thank you. I also feel slightly stupider, but that's every day. Slowly turning into a sunfish. The internet's very picky about words with- with vape in it. Oh, okay. So, you- you die very quickly. I mean, maybe you wouldn't die quickly, chat member, but I do. Supposed to be like a fast shooter, and it is. But you also, um, you know, the, the weapon is very limited. Vinny, can you buy me a beer at Pax East? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll let you buy me a beer, then I'll buy you one. We'll do buybacks. Deal. Who are you, by the way? <laughs> I only do beer for beer. That's it. How will I know it's you? Who do I look for? Vinny, I offered to buy you a beer at TMG that one year. Really? Did you? Yeah, no, that's- that's, um, I'm actually not going to do that, because I like to- after the convention, I like to, um, die. I like to keep things really small. Like, if- if it's, like, you know, a beer thing, it's usually just with, like, a couple people that I know already, and that way... It's kind of chill. I can, like, not talk. I can, you know, because if you're talking and signing for, like, a couple hours, and you're, and you're me, you don't want to continue talking for another couple hours over a drink, um, answering questions and stuff. I... So, if I turn down any beers at a convention, I'm sure you're a wonderful person to drink with. But, uh, I can't, I can't do it. Someone just said, fuck you, Vinny. You're not wrong. If I'm gonna get the fuck you, Vinny re reaction anyway, I may as well just be like... I may as well just be a cock about it. Be like, no, fuck you! But remember, this started with the dude wanting me to buy them a beer. Alright, so this game is fine. I mean, I saw the visuals, I was like, hey, let me try out this demo. I didn't actually think I was ever gonna stream this, and, um... 
if anything, I thought maybe this would make a quick five minutes on Sunday. And... I could see potential in this. It's got the Titanfall 2 movement. Once you kind of get it going, it's, it's cool. But yeah, it's just a fast neon shooter. Neon wave. It's a neon wave shooter. Maybe could use a checkpoint system. You can shoot green boxes for health. Vinny, why are you trying to kill everything instead of running past it? I don't know, I figured... It's a game with things that try to kill you, so why not kill them? I'll just run past everything now. Vinny, you're supposed to outrun them. Ah, the genre. Well, now it's just parkour. Now it's just first-person parkour. And not even, like, amazing first-person parkour. <clears throat> Get to the orange door. Level 1 has alternative generation, so each time you play through it... Yeah, it's a demo, guys. I don't know. Um, I think it, it could be cool. play more games. I will. I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna play Kid Icarus. I just wanted to ode. I remember playing, um, I remember playing Mirror's Edge for the first time, and I've only ever played a little bit of it, and I just didn't, it didn't click. I enjoyed it a little bit, but I didn't think to myself parkour is the is the genre for me. Also, that didn't load. Uh, really crusty demo. It says here, the Steam Early Access version is a complete rewrite. It was also taken off Steam again, so there wasn't much being sold. It wasn't being sold in such an incomplete state. Well, if there's more work done in a game like that, Maybe I'd play more of it, because it definitely seems like it could be cool. Like, here, check this out. Take a look at the, the video. This is what made me want to check it out. Look at the, the movement. See, you can duck. I didn't do any of that. Get different weapons. It just seemed kind of it seemed cool, but uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe one day I'll return to it. <laughs> 